Well, I want to put out that this John White guy that developed this spooky program, he's a pretty smart cookie. Anyway, um, <laughs> first, yeah, me saying that. Now, actually, um, when I was in college, I did take 30 credits in higher mathematics after I took a counting major, but I don't remember mathematics at all, to tell you the truth, but not the higher stuff. But uh, simple arithmetic, yeah, I can get down with that. And um, the deal is, he's pretty damn ingenious as to the way he designed this program with um, making the frequencies work that are outside the range of the plasma device. So let me explain. For instance, you know, actually this program is really super simple the way he made this. I know he changed it around a lot. At first I was like, hey, what do you do? I usually just take uh, shell empty presets, and if I'm going to use, and I, I got the magnifier on the bottom, you can see it down here, right? Shell empty presets, and here's Spooky Central, JW is John White, and you can see in the third block, it says, Basic Shell Preset for Spooky Central. Spooky Central is a modern plasma machine that has a very broad operating frequency range. Now, He's got it whereby, um, like for instance, if you took this 10,000 here, energy vitality, that's a that's a pretty good frequency because um, it's one of those frequencies that pretty much covers it. If you look in a consolidated annotated frequency list, you know it's got a large number of things it supposedly addresses, allegedly addresses. We'll say that, okay. Now, the plasma does not reach down to 10,000, so he's got to, like, use a multiple to bring it up into the range for the plasma device. Now, if, you're, if I'm speaking gobbledygook to you on this video, plasma is like a type of matter. It's the fourth state of matter. It's a type of frequency delivery system that can deliver frequencies deep within inside the body that normal electricity can't, electrical currents can't. Now, the plasma operates between 100,000 hertz and 3,500,000 hertz, which is extraordinary with Spooky 2. It's beyond sliced bread, you know, the invention of sliced bread, okay? In my opinion, anyway. So, 10,000 hertz is one-tenth that. So, how the heck do you bring it up into the range? Now, what he did is, I'm, sh I'm showing the complicated settings up here, but just look at a generator control. Um, when you start it, you notice it starts at 640,000 hertz, and it's got out to 630,000 hertz. Now, the reason I chose 10,000 is that you can look and see, you know, in your head, the difference between 640,000 and 630,000 is 10,000. Now, that's actually the key. What's going on is he takes a multiple of 8 to multiply the number up to the range where it can work within the spooky plasma device or the spooky plasma the bulb, whatever you want to call it, the argon or the helium, depends on which one you got, right? Um, so you're either going to use 8 to the first power, so you know 8 times 10,000 is 80,000, you're still short of the range. 8 to the second power is 64. So 64 times 10,000, you know, then you get it, it works, okay? Um, you got 640,000. 8 to the third power uh, was 256. 8 to the fourth power, I think it's 2,048. And I, I'm just doing this off of memory. 8 to the fifth power. It's like 32,000 something, whatever, okay? So I'll skip the magnifier now, and we'll go into something else. I'm going to show you spreadsheet. Um, what happens is, you got the 10,000 in here, and we don't need to have this to that degree. <laughs> 10,000 frequency. I guess we don't need to have all these to... I got a bunch of decimal points after it, but I guess I was messing around with something else. That's why. Um, so it, what it does is it creates sidebands frequencies 
of 10,000 up and above the below the the uh, the target frequency, the ones that's being sent out, 640,000. It's being modulated by 630,000 hertz. So the difference is it's making all these different sidebands all the way down, 630,000 hertz all the way down to the, to 10,000. So this spooky plasma is actually putting out a sideband of 10,000 hertz. Let me just take these zeros out of here. <laughs> and it's hitting all, all the harmonics. All the harmonics. It's making a sideband of 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60, 70, all the way up. So this thing is like ingenious. And if you're taking um, the harmonics from the modulated frequency and also even this, um, well, excuse me, the modulated frequency and also the bass frequency, if you want to call it that, or whatever the, um, the first frequency the plasma is putting out, the 640,000, it actually it actually hits other harmonics again like it'll hits 90,000 here it hits 70,000 here from the 630,000 it hits 128,000 um, but the main thing is and it also hits 30,000 down here that's three times that's another harmonic of 10,000 again with more strength due to the square wave of the two frequencies that are going through the plasma, 640,000 and 630,000. So the square wave is producing 128,000, 90,000, 70,000, and 30,000, which are all, those are harmonics of the 10,000 like the 128,000 is not so obvious, but a lot of times people use 32, 64, 128, 256, 512 times the base number. That's another harmonic that works, but it's hitting that also. But the sidebands hit every single harmonic of the base target frequency you put in there of 10,000 by them using it this way. That's why, you know, it's my recommendation. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can experiment all you want. I mean, they got other things in here, generator settings. You can change the harmonic to something else. And I, I leave it alone. You know, I think John White has got it all figured out. As a matter of fact, you could not show advanced options. I mean, just leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> just run it. Just run this baby, man. Just run it. But I was kind of wondering, you know, you know what the heck? I didn't really look at this. You know, I just take it as a word because I, I already, I already grown just to trust this guy, John White. You know, I, I can tell he's honest. Um, and you know, also, and you're looking at this five volts going zero to five. That's doing a, a pulsing, uh, a gating. Excuse me, four times a second. So that's even making it stronger. But it's hitting every harmonic of 10,000. It's not, you know, you think, you know, I was thinking, well, it's a square wave and it's a square wave. So I was looking at, you know, what kind of harmonics is it hitting with the square wave? But I was missing the sideband factors, the, the sidebands, uh, excuse me, the sideband frequencies that when you combine these two frequencies, you're making sideband. And that's why the wave is modulated by a difference of the target. I use 10,000 here, like the, the base frequency, if you want to call it that. So it's multiplied up by a power of 8. So it's either 8, 64, 256, 2048, or and 32,000. Well, I don't think it needs to go to 32,000 something. And well, I guess it's a really, really low frequency it does. Um, to get into the range where the plasma bulb works, and then they take that frequency minus the frequency you chose that was out of the range of the plasma, 
you multi minus that from that, and that's your modulation frequency. These are both running a square wave, 50% duty cycle, which means odd harmonics only. And it does sometimes it does hit other harmonics of the uh, frequency you, you entered. But the real beauty, really, where this thing is working, is it's putting in every single sideband, all these sidebands, which is making every single harmonic of the frequency you put in there. In other words, 10,000 was what you put in. So it's got the second harmonic, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the tenth, and, you know, the eighth, you know, one through whatever. I mean, going all the way up. In so this thing is like freaking fantastic. It should work. I mean, provided provided the published frequencies are correct. But some of the some of the published frequencies have been used so often that there's some known frequencies that are really good. I mean, not everything I see on these lists is the best damn thing in the world, but a lot of stuff actually is fantastic that we do know. I mean, I don't want to say a percentage of what works because I think there's so many variables with this stuff, but there are certain frequencies that have been well known for many, many years to work well in most situations. Actually, there's even a little short list on here called the Proven List, which is a pretty good one, too. I mean, well, it's actually a very good one. But anyway, I just wanted to point that out because the beauty of this plasma is it's not only applying the frequencies directly to the body, but when it can't reach, when you're using a, uh, a frequency like 10,000 and you're saying the plasma device is only good from 100,000 to 3,500,000, ,000, he makes a calculation in here, just as I've shown, to bring it into the range where the plasma device will work, but the modulation frequency that's calculated under out two, he has it set where it makes all the sidebands, which would include the original frequency you put in and all the harmonics of it, odd and even, everything. So, you know, that should really be effective, to tell you the truth. So, I just figured I'd put this out here because, you know, I was, was kind of looking at this, and I was like trying to think, what, why, what is going on here, you know? What's going on with these harmonics, and why do you do this? This is, uh, this is pretty damn slick, man. This is really, really good stuff. To my, I mean, I mean, you know... I'm not running a clinic over here, okay? I'm not selling you nothing. I'm not. I'm just looking at the theories of how it works, okay? Now, if I was running a clinic, I'd probably be in fear of not just the FDA, but I'd be in fear of uh, future repeat customers because I would probably wind up curing these people left and right. <laughs> I mean, that would be my fear, right? I mean, you know, what would happen if this thing really works really good like we think it might? Say you did have a clinic with this thing. What happens if you got somebody who's got a problem and they come to you and you cure them inside of a couple of sessions? You just lost the customer. You're going to go broke. So, you know, I guess that was the modus operandi, you know, modus operandi behind uh, Spooky Toad. They're doing it from the heart. And, uh, yeah, maybe maybe people will start living a lot longer and they'll have other problems and you have to come up but other frequencies or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if this is the be-all, end-all of anything, but it's like, you know, nutrition's important. Clean air is important. Staying away from toxins is important. But uh, there's a lot to this. And actually, um, Google and YouTube have been pretty receptive of my videos on this, which is kind of cool. But I actually did read that um, Google actually is on cutting research for some of this frequency technology. And even I saw articles about things where they're going to use frequencies to cure disease in the future. They've already been talking about it. I mean, they're not, even in the mainstream, I saw some stuff. So, I mean, this is not really fringe technology as somebody would think, you know. Uh, some people might think that, but it's not my opinion. 
because actually every single food you eat has a frequency in it and it does affect the body that way with energies and frequencies it's energy frequencies and chemical reactions I don't know they all go hand in hand so but um, and you know the idea yeah idea you know I E A D E R right yeah <laughs> D E A R, yeah right. That's a New Jersey way of saying it, but uh, you don't spell it that way, of course. But what I'm saying is that, um, you know, the theory is that with microbes you're shaking them apart. But then, that's a theory. I don't know. So maybe if you're getting results, maybe it's not shaking a viral issue, a virus apart, because maybe a virus. Well, virus really isn't alive. It's maybe it's intertwined with your DNA or whatever the hell it is. Maybe a larger, you know, um, you know, parasite like a bacterium could get shaken apart, and you see that under a microscope. But some of these other issues that are seem to be resolved with this technology, I mean, maybe it's, you know, people don't understand how it works exactly, but they observe that, you know, they've had good success with it. You know, in, in Really, in a practical world, if you see something work, you just keep continuing to do it. As a matter of fact, you know, people really don't understand electricity, but we see it every day. We kind of assume we understand it. We think it's electrons flowing down a wire, you know, plain electricity. We think we understand it, but reality is we probably don't understand it. But who cares as long as it works? But I like the way he's got this set up because... This plasma, with his new program, he's made it infinitesimally more useful. And, you know, at first I was just thinking it was just, you know, he's multiplying the, pl the, the, the number by this magic number 8, which is a Fibonacci number. And I didn't realize the deal with the sidebands. And I says, wow, with the sidebands, he's hitting every harmonic. Every harmonic. So... You would think this is going to work really well, but we shall see. And actually, like I said, I think uh, Google's in on hot on this stuff, too. I mean, you know, when Bill Gates claims he's going to live freaking 500 years old or some crap like that. I mean, you know, he's probably got something like this. He's probably got the, the Microsoft version of it or something. Who the hell knows? I'm not a fan of that guy, to tell you the truth, but <laughs> not at all. But, uh, you know... I think that, you know, I've, I've read that a lot of the tech billionaires are claiming they're going to live a thousand years or live forever, and they're telling you they're taking vitamins and they're eating whole foods. Uh, when they're talking, like, some of the claims they're making, I assume they're using some kind of technology like this. I don't know what the hell they're doing, but it can't just be foods. I know that. It's impossible. But, uh, you know, someday we might unlock these secrets. And, um, you know, this might be far beyond um, just healing disease and things like that. It might actually have a lot to do with longevity. I chose this frequency 10,000 because it's not only addresses a lot of microbial issues, but it's energy vitality. And who the hell is not pro-energy vitality? Wouldn't you want to have more energy and feel better? I think that would be something everybody would want, right? For sure.